What's going on guys, Tmart here, and coming up in the next couple of days is going to be one of the biggest gaming events of the year. It's called E3, it stands for the Electronic Entertainment Expo, it's happening June 11th through the 13th, and, and it's a yearly event held in Los Angeles where, where it kind of preps us for the next year of gaming. Because as you guys know, the peak of the gaming season is like late fall, early winter. That's when things really, really ramp up just before the holidays, and then it kind of dwindles down for the rest of the year. So this event, which is smack dab in the middle of the summer, kind of lets us know, you know, what we can expect what we should be excited for, what's coming, you know, all these companies come in and they kind of flex their muscles. All the big gaming companies, Microsoft, EA, Ubisoft, Sony, Nintendo, everybody, they come in, show everybody what new products are coming out, what new games are coming out, and just really kind of prepare us for the next gaming season, which is obviously very exciting to get all this information at once for, for us gamers, which I think all of you guys are. So I just want to make a quick little video kind of letting you guys know what's going on, the times it's going on, how you can be involved, some of the stuff we can expect, and, and yeah. It should be a pretty fun week. So uh, first and foremost, I'm going to be at the event. I'm going to be live at the convention center in LA covering it, getting new information and videos and things for you guys. I'm going to be making videos, tweeting, Instagramming, Facebooking, all that stuff. So make sure you keep up to date with all my social media sites. Make sure you're following them all and liking them all and all that stuff. So the links to those will be down in the description. But... Also, if you want to kind of be involved with this, it's going to be streamed and kind of broadcasted on a couple of different, you know, areas or mediums. One is it's going to be live on TV. It's going to be on Spike TV. They always do a big kind of, you know, thing about this every year because they're, you know, all about gaming and technology and stuff. So uh, watch it on Spike TV if you can do that. You can also watch it online via live streams. And uh, pretty much any big gaming company that you know is going to have a live stream about this. So, you know, Twitch has one. Game Trailers has one. IGN has one. They're going to be all kinds of different websites that have them so, so I'm sure you guys won't have a problem finding those there and then of course all the different news sites like Kotaku and and 4G and you know things like that are, are gonna have articles up about it so uh, there's not gonna be any problem for you guys to get information about this event now uh, let's talk about what we can expect to see from this you know what new products will we see what new games will be announced what things you know are gonna be going on because like I said this is just like a huge information dump all over us and and you know a couple of days so uh, starting off before the actual E3 event before they open the doors which is June 11th through 13th they actually have a bunch of press conferences all the time you know the big name companies do this so on June 9th Call of Duty and Activision and Infinity Ward are uh, are doing an all access live stream event for Call of Duty Ghosts which I actually did a full video dedicated to so make sure you guys go check that out but, but they've said that they're going to give us gameplay, which I think is going to be single-player gameplay. I don't think they would show multiplayer this early, but you never know. And, and then, of course, you know they're going to have interviews and things like that. So we should get a lot of information from that live stream event, which is pretty exciting. Now, uh, next up, the next day on June 10th, this is the day where all of the huge, huge, huge gaming companies do their like press conferences. And it's where we'll get a lot of our information, a lot of our questions answered. So Microsoft starts it off at 9.30 a.m. Keep in mind, this is Pacific time. EA follows up at 1 o'clock, Ubisoft goes at 3, Sony goes at 6, and then surprisingly, Nintendo is actually not going to have one. Usually they have one of the biggest press conferences, but but they won't have this one this year. So, uh, yeah, those are some of the main, you know, companies that are doing them, you know, around that time, you know, 9.30, 1, 3, and 6. Those are the times that we can expect to get a lot of information out of these companies of, you know, what their plans are for the next year and, and what we could see in terms of new products, new games, new features, things like that. Now, Let's uh, let's get more into specifics. You know what exactly can we expect? Well, you know, keep in mind this isn't set in stone. It's not like these companies have to do this or they've already announced it. But but this is some of the stuff that they will most likely do. So for Microsoft and for the Xbox One, they have got to set things right. They've got to right the ship. This thing is way off course with their reveal event. They didn't really mention games at all. I mean, yeah, they showed a little bit of gameplay and a few teasers and things. But for the most part, it was all about TV, 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 TV fantasy sports. That's all it was about. So. They have got to talk about the games, announce new titles, show actual live gameplay and using all the new features at once, you know, maybe show some video recording and things like that. So, so yeah, I think they're going to be, you know, a lot more game heavy at E3 because they've realized that they've messed up with their reveal event. They didn't do enough about the games because it is a gaming console. Now, uh, I know uh, additionally to that, I think they need to answer some unanswered questions. I think they're going to let us know exactly what the always online DRM thing is, you know, exactly what we can expect as 
exactly how it's going to affect us. Uh, you know, used game fees, you know, they've talked about that, how you can pull used games out of the cloud and play them. They need to let us know how much that is going to cost, if anything. And, and then, you know, you know, other things. There are a lot of other unanswered questions that they haven't let us know about. And, and they might even give us more intricate details, like the release date of the console, the price of the console, if there's any different versions, like in terms of, you know, higher, you know, storage space or special editions or anything like that. So, so yeah, they're going to answer a bunch of unanswered questions that that we've been wanting to know for a while now that they didn't answer in their uh, their reveal event like they should have. So, uh, yeah, moving on to the PlayStation 4 on the other side of things, a direct competitor to the Xbox One, they are expected to unveil the console, the design of it, you know, show us the actual console, which was, which was I think, a mistake that they didn't do in their reveal event. So that should be pretty exciting. I know it's such a small thing, you know, it's just a box that's going to sit in your desk as you play games, but, but everybody always has this huge interest anticipation factor about what the console is going to look like including myself I can't wait to see what the PS4 will look like but but yeah we should be able to see the PS4 they're going to be all about the games you know almost to a point of spitting in Microsoft's face you know being like hey we're the actual gaming console now you're just a TV DVR or whatever so, uh, so yeah they're going to continue showing us games doing gameplay more titles announced you know maybe showing new features kind of like I expect Microsoft to do things like that so uh, yeah that's going to be the PS4 and then also uh, they also might announce new information about about the PlayStation Vita. So that's, you know, their little handheld console thing that, that really isn't selling too well. It's doing well in Japan and overseas and things like that, but in the US it's not doing that great. And I think they're gonna drop the price and make it more of like a PS4 accessory. You know, it is still gonna be a Vita, but they're gonna kind of, you know, make it look like a PS4 accessory that you can use to, you know, uh, you know, play when you're away from the console, kind of like you can the Wii U and things like that. So they should give us some information about the Vita, which which I know some of you guys might be interested in. Now, next up for the Xbox 360, yes, that's right, the eight-year-old console, we're actually going to hear a, a pretty exciting thing about this. So, uh, the Microsoft Game Studios corporate vice president, Phil Spencer, said, uh, he said this at the Xbox One reveal event, he said, uh, we have a huge, I think it's huge, Xbox 360 announcement for E3 that I keep wanting to talk about, but I can't. I think the Xbox 360 is going to be very vibrant for many years. So, there's going to be some sort of huge announcement about the Xbox 360, which I wasn't really anticipating but it sounds pretty exciting uh, you know so we'll have to wait and see what it is it could be something pretty cool and, and then also I think we might hear something about the new Xbox Stingray you know there's a rumor going around about this you know uh, lowered price hundred dollar Xbox that you can buy when the Xbox one comes out so we'll probably hear something about that as well so uh, so that's pretty exciting we'll, uh, we'll also hear about things from Nintendo you know maybe some new products definitely some new game releases which we'll talk about at the end of this video you know just because they don't have a press conference doesn't mean they're not gonna be there in a big way so I'm excited to see what Nintendo brings. We also may hear about the Steam Box. If you guys remember, Steam was coming out with a console which which everybody was really, really excited for at a time, but now it seems like it's kind of been left in the dust. Like, I haven't heard anything about the Steam Box in a long time with the Xbox One and the PS4 uh, reveals. So, uh, maybe the Steam Box will come out from the shadows at E3, which I expect them to do. And, and then also, there's going to be a bunch of other new things that are going to be announced. You know, new random games, new products like from Alienware. I think Alienware's supposed to have a big announcement I think Razer's supposed to have a big announcement and you know there's just there's gonna be all kinds of new stuff that are gonna be there so uh, I'll make sure to try to cover it as for you guys as well as I can but but it's just it's gonna be a ton of information now uh, in terms of games this is something that I know a lot of you guys are gonna be very excited about as am I what can we expect to see in terms of games for this event well uh, some of the big titles that a lot of people are definitely definitely anticipating it almost seems like these are absolute musts at this event are well a Call of Duty Ghosts absolutely Battlefield 4 absolutely Absolutely. The new Halo that's going to be coming out on the new Xbox, if there is going to be one, which I'm sure there will be one. There's no way there won't. Gears of War 5, Watch Dogs, Mirror's Edge 2. Yes, that's right. There's supposed to be a Mirror's Edge 2 coming out. There was some leak or, you know, some super solid source that said it. So Mirror's Edge 2 is expected to come out. Uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which has already been announced. We'll get more information about that. Maybe some gameplay. Fallout 4 is supposed to come out, you know, just based off of how they come out every few years. This year would be the year for it to come out, and it'd be great for it to be on the new console. So Fallout 4 may be announced. And, and then also Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U, which is 
is going to be epic. I cannot wait for that game. And and then a new Legend of Zelda game on the Wii U, which is obviously very, very anticipated. So, uh, yeah, those are some of the major titles that should be coming out. That uh, That's what we can expect. You know, obviously, there are going to be a lot more games. There's going to be a lot, you know, smaller games and other big AAA titles will be announced. So, it's, it's just, it's going to be a good time, guys. We're going to hear all kinds of new stuff about the major consoles, about the major releases. There's going to be all kinds of new stuff coming out, new products, new games, new, you know, different, just, it's going to be crazy. It's hard to explain how cool this event is going to be. So, and anyway, I hope you guys are excited. Like I said, I will be trying to cover as much of it as I can on my channel, so make sure to check back for videos. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and do that thing. But also, down in the description, there are ways that you guys can watch the live streams and the TV shows and things like that. So, hope you guys are excited. I definitely am. It's going to be a great year of gaming. I'm happy you guys are here to share it with me, and I'll catch you guys later. Bunch of great videos coming soon. Check out one of the other two videos if you haven't seen them yet. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.